This is my most current painting that I'm working on. I'm either going to call it the space in between or in between the divide or the diaspora. I might not call it the diaspora. I don't like that a lot, but it's on the table. As you can see, it's different Adinkra symbols. If you don't know what Adinkra is, you can check out this book. I had to order it from Marcus Books. And there's no more borders anymore, so maybe Barnes and Nobles. But yeah, that book will give you in-depth definition of what Adinkra symbols is, where they come from, and their meaning. You can't really see too well here, but the blue represents the ocean in the sky that the Africans... My ancestors, our ancestors, some of your ancestors had to cross in order to get to the many different places of the world that we now live in, which is represented by the different squares and shapes and whatnot. And I intentionally left some of these spaces blank with no Adinkra symbol to represent the forgotten knowledge that came across with us, but over time, was forgotten. What else do I want to say? So yeah, it's not complete, but the blue represents the sky and the ocean, and if you can see, it kind of looks orange on here, but it's not orange, it's red. I put in uh, little streaks of red and gold to represent the blood and money that was spilled in the ocean. For, oh, that came across with us.